Hey, what's up everybody? Happy holidays and welcome to the next lesson in On One's Eight Days of Editing. In this lesson, we're going to take a contemporary image and transform it into a vintage aged photograph using some textures, some blending, and some creative editing instead of On One Photo Raw. Let's do it. I'll see you in the editing room. Inside of Photo Raw, I've navigated to the practice files for this lesson and we have this vintage photo.cr2 the images that we're going to be modifying in the edit. And then we have this folder here with these three different textures. And we're actually going to be using just these two textures here, Vintage 1 and Vintage 2. But if you want to get creative and stylize a bit more or try to use this texture in a creative way, go for it. I just added it in there as just a little bit of a bonus texture. So we're going to be using these textures throughout the edit and we're going to be using them on this Photo. So let's head into the edit module and let's start the edit. So inside of the edit module, in this develop tab, I'm not going to modify really a whole lot of the tone and color. The only thing I really want to do is just add in a bit of contrast. So let's just head down to the contrast slider and let's just pull that up a hair, maybe about 25 or so. Now let's go into the effects tab. Let's add a filter and let's add the textures filter. Because we're blending on textures, we can use this import button in the textures filter to import our own custom textures really easily. So let's head to the import button here and we can navigate to those three different textures in the practice files. And you can add them into a new category or you can add them into an existing category. I've already imported these into a vintage blend category there. But if you want to import them into a new one, just rename it. And then you can view the textures that you just imported to the right of your category here in this extras manager. And now in this textures filter, let's use the category menu to scroll all the way down to the bottom into the My Textures section. And we're going to go all the way down or however far down it takes you to get to that imported category that we just created. And I'm going to use this Vintage 1 preset first. Now what I like to do when I'm blending on textures is I like to use them very intensely. I like to make them really shine and pop out on the scene. To do that, I use this opacity slider. I'll usually increase it all the way to 100. And then I'll use this mode menu as well. This mode menu allows you to modify the blending mode for the texture. I'm going to use this lighter mode. I really like the lighter mode because it incorporates these bright scratches and textures onto the scene. And I really, really like that. But because we're using this lighter blend mode, it's going to brighten things up a bit. And that's totally fine. Another thing I want to do in the textures filter to modify this texture a bit is I want to adjust the tone and color sliders a bit. So let's head down in here to the brightness slider and let's just increase this all the way. You can see that when I'm increasing the brightness, it's incorporating more of the textures and scratches from the Vintage 1 texture onto our image. And it really looks much more vintage and aged that way. So if we pull this back, we don't have many of those scratches and textures. If we pull up on the brightness, it really incorporates a lot of those. So I'll just maybe fine tune this to taste and I'll probably use about 90. And I think this looks really awesome for the first texture. One last thing I want to do here is just go down to the transform section of the textures filter and just scale this up a bit to remove some of that edging on the side. So now let's head up here. We'll add another filter and let's add on another textures filter. In the textures filter, I'm going to use the same category as I did before. But this time we're going to go into the texture menu and we'll choose Vintage 2. 
Now with the second vintage texture that we're applying, I'm going to modify the mode a little bit differently this time. I'm going to pull up on the opacity slider all the way, but this time I'm going to go to my mode here and I'm going to go all the way down to replace. So it completely replaces my photo with the texture. Now I'm going to head up here to the top of the textures filter. Let's just rename this one second texture. And we're going to access the blending modes for this texture by clicking on this gear icon here. In this gear icon, we have our blending options where we can modify the mode and we have access to all of the blending modes. A lot of these work really well on images like this, especially these contrasted ones. But one of my favorites here is hard light. Now, obviously it's really, really intense. It's very strong and we can't see much of the original photograph. Well, what I like to do here is I like to use these three sliders. These are tone protection sliders, if you will. They remove the effect from the texture or filter from these specific tones. So if you want to remove this texture from your shadows, you can pull this up and it will try to eliminate that effect from those specific tones in your shot. So let's do it with the skin slider. These are more of the mid-tones. And you can see it's revealing a lot more of the original photograph, but we're still getting a lot of this nice vintage texture on the scene. Now let's just pull up on the highlights, maybe just a hair. And I think that's looking pretty nice so far. We have the dominant subject here is the hands and the bicycle handle here, and it's looking really awesome and really aged. So now let's go over and we'll add one last filter. And this filter is going to sort of tie all of this together. And that's the black and white filter. By removing the color in that original photograph, it's going to blend the image into all of those textures. And it's going to make things look much more natural and consistent. Now inside of this black and white filter, you can use really any of these presets, but I really like this red preset here just adds a bit more character and contrast and darkens things up a bit. And in the black and white filter, we can use the tone menu here and we can adjust the original tones in the shot if we like. So now let's head down here to this bottom area. I'm going to click this little A button and I'm just going to use this preview slider to view the original and our aged edit. And you can always adjust the opacity to all of these filters by heading up to the effects tab and right below it, there's this opacity slider. That's how to create an aged look on an image using textures and some blending inside Photo Raw. I'll see you in the next lesson.